Sheen Shots. Yeah, boy. What's going on, guys? Welcome to Sheen Shots. Today, we have a fantastic video for you. It's going to be the beginner's guide to Outward. All right? Now, there's a lot of these on YouTube, and a lot of them are outdated. There's a couple of really good ones that are recent. Um, definitely check those out. But I think it is beneficial to at least check out some of the content before you play it on this because there's a lot of stuff you miss out on in this game just by having absolutely no clue that you could do it. So today in this beginner's guide, instead of just going through as much as I can, I'm going to instead just do the island that you spawn on, okay? So this is, if you pull up your map, it doesn't show up anything because you're on an island. You can't go anywhere. So when you show up, you're going to be completely naked, you know, you're going to have nothing. A lot of these bodies won't have anything. But this island is full of really good loot that you can grab pretty early on. So go ahead and grab that torch. I'll be dropping that later, but you'll see in the bottom left corner there, it increases my temperature, which is going to be important because I don't want to get too cold and then I'll lose stamina, things like that. So there's, there's these bushes on uh, this island, gab berries, or gay berries, however you want to say it. Uh, they increase stamina, so you're going to want to make sure you grab those all the time, anytime you see them. There's going to be one piece of tattered attire. Now, you can wear this, but it's pretty trash. <laughs> it does absolutely nothing, really. Uh, the most minor of things. So what I would do is I would go over to your crafting and recipe area, and I would decraft it for some linen cloth. Okay, because what you could do with linen cloth is you can make a bandage, or you can also make knuckles. Okay. Now, I'm not going to do knuckles because that's not what I want to play with on here. But three linen cloth will give you knuckles, and they can be pretty helpful considering they, if they attack pretty fast. And a lot of players like to use them early on because, you know, hyenas are no joke. So there's going to be multiple torches. You don't really need to pick them up. They're just... There in case you want. You don't get a backpack, so you can't really carry anything. So you're going to walk over to this bridge here area, and uh, that's where you want to go to get to the next, like, story part of the this game. However, if you come down this waterway here, you'll notice that you uh, it's not, like, too deep. You can actually walk on it. And uh, over here, there's going to be a fishing harpoon. So grab that bad boy. And you can actually fight with this thing. It does decent damage. So just a heads up. And this water is clean. You'll be able to drink that. So, no worries there. Now, uh, once you have your fishing harpoon, you can come up here, and there's going to be, again, more gabberry bushes and things. So make sure you grab those. Now, don't forget to come over here, and there's another bandage. If you didn't use your linen cloth to make a bandage earlier, you can grab one now. You're going to want to keep one of those for later, just for the first part of the story, just so you have it, but... Just a heads up. Alright, so there's going to be dead people next to you, Zan. You, Zan's our little buddy here. Uh, some bread. Not too significant, but... A anything else at the beginning of the game, right? Because <laughs> uh, you can you can always sell that bread when you get to town. So, jump down this hill here behind. You, you can walk all the way around, but there's not really anything over here. Uh, so, there's not really a point. It's just a crash ship. So, open this junk pile. Sometimes... You get extra linen cloth. This is typically what you get, though. You get a little bit of silver, some wood. Grab the flint and steel. You'll basically never need to grab any more flint and steel. You'll get some, though. You'll just have to drop it and stuff. It's, it's pretty common. Um, so, seaweed. Walk along this beach and grab the seaweed. Okay? Now, why would you grab seaweed and what does it do? Seaweed allows you to make something called an ice rag. Okay? Ice rags increase your power... Because it gives you, again, ice damage on your weapon. And I'll show you that here in a second. Now, go in your inventory and once again go over to the crafting tab. Okay? We're going to do a manual recipe. We're going to take one piece of linen cloth. One piece of seaweed. We're going to craft with that and it's going to give us an ice rag. Okay? As long as you have seaweed and linen cloth, you can make that. Now, if you go over to the ice rag, it says, Soil cloth that confers frost element were rubbed on a melee weapon. So, what it does is you'll use it, and it will put frost onto your melee weapon, and then you have extra damage against enemies. Now, again, over here, there's not really anything. Uh, there's a bush for gabberries. That's about it. So, you don't really need to go over there. So, this arch here signifies the next kind of area on this island. This would be, like, the boss area. You're going to fight some hyenas. So, there's a hatchet. If you don't want to play with a two-handed, go ahead and grab this hatchet. 
Um, I'm going to play with the harpoon because why not? So, two hyenas. First thing you're going to want to do is use your your rag, obviously. Why, why would we make that if we're not going to use it? So, I have a kick ability in my bottom right. I'm going to want to use that. It's very important. So, you're going to want to wait for this bad boy to attack. Because he will. Hyenas suck. and They're, they're pretty difficult enemies sometimes because they're goofy. So, just keep at it. There we go. See, the kick is really what you want to get on these guys. Now, you'll notice I took damage, right? It's because no one's perfect in outward. <laughs> what he is. So, I have these bandages. And I can use those in order to help me out. Do bandages give you a significant amount of health? No, they're not like the best health increase in the game. Meat is. It's really good for health. But bandages help out a little bit. So you're going to want to grab this stuff. Now, if you kept the tattered uh, attire, you can use leather to turn that into armor. Just a heads up. Now, come over here. This is the other side of that where we got that fishing harpoon. It's going to be a pickaxe. Pick that up. You will be... A little bit heavier and your pocket will get full so what i like to do is i take it over here to where i won't miss it and i drop it right here that way when i defeat this other hyena and come back and grab it so the only thing left in this area is a trunk pile which we'll get to in a second and another hyena so we're going to go destroy him real quick and i'll show you the one-handed weapon this time and boom that's what i thought dude so the one-handed weapon is a little bit different yeah, he likes to dodge literally everything you throw at him. Which, as long as you keep circling him, kind of go at it a little bit, wait for him to attack. That's the hard part, it's getting to him attack, because they're a pain in the butt. But if you wait for your kick to come back, then use it. Really, it doesn't matter too much if you take some damage, as long as you get to kill him. Alright, so now you loot him, come over to this trunk pile. Now, with the trunk pile, you get kind of randomish loot. Oh, okay, this is good. This is good. So, we got some armor. Now, we look cool. Um, but, again, we got leather. Okay? So, what we can do is, again, go over here. You gotta make sure you de-equip that. Go over here and try and craft with this. Okay? It's gonna be one hide, one hood. It doesn't matter what helmet, as long as it's like a beginner helmet. Craft with that, you're going to get a makeshift leather helmet, okay? This is much more resistance to cold impact and regular resistance than you get from any crappy, you know, loot in this beginning game. Now, the chest plate, I notice I didn't do it with that. That's because you have to have two hide. So I could have done it with the hide that I had earlier, but I chose not to. So as you kill more hyenas, you can get that. But I probably would have died if I had not had the frost element on my weapon. Okay? This is because it did more damage. Otherwise, I mean, I was getting my butt handed to me. I don't know what was going on. <laughs> now, that's pretty much all that's in this area. There's not much else. Again, just a couple bushes with some things. That's where all the main stuff is. Now, what I will talk to you guys about is if you go over here to this tab it's, it's kind of like a human looking tab here this is your, your skill tab okay this shows you what you kind of have right not many of these are usable right now so what we'll do is we'll go in here to where we can equip stuff and we're going to equip all of our skills now you're going to be like dude you can't use those why are you equipping them well just in case now when i get to the next area and i happen to pick up a lantern if i get in trouble i can you know i can throw it real quick Beginning game, I sometimes find myself forgetting to equip those. And then when I get into a fight, I'm like, oh crap. Now I got to equip them in the middle of a fight. And then I start getting beat up. So, just check all the skills you have first and equip them all. It'll help a little bit. So, when you come up here, there's not going to be much else again. Some dead guys. You can talk to Zayzan. He's got some cool dialogue. You know, you can talk to him about what happened, all this other stuff. He talks to you about Edo, that type of thing. But then, all you have to do is you have to sleep one hour. Let's get into bed here. So just sleep one. And you will... Yazan will transfer you. Magically just... Woo, transfer you to town. Yazan will bring you back to town. Okay? You, you show up in your bed. Alright. 
So I'm not going to go through that. That's the beginning game, you know, story. Read it if you want to. Okay, so now we're back here. We're in town. What I want to do is first off, yeet down the stairs, and there's going to be a primitive satchel. Okay? This is the equivalent to the worst backpack in the game. All right? This is the worst. I mean, but it's something. And that's what we need right now. So move your heaviest stuff to your bag so it's not encumbering you. Walk all the way back up here. And grab these two things. Now, if you did not get a chest plate in the previous area, you do have one now. Okay. But, again, equip those boots. Go in here. Crafty leather pair of boots. Okay. This gives you... Even more than you had. The other boots were terrible. Plus, also, you kind of get a matching set. Which is pretty nice, right? Everybody wants that. Okay, so this is your house. This is your beds. If you ever want to sleep... Uh, it doesn't cost, you don't, you won't get hungry or thirsty if you sleep in these, and you won't need to guard. You can repair in here. You don't have, you can go pay for it in town too, I like usually doing that. Okay, so this is, there's a chest down here, you can put infinite amount of materials in here. This is what I like to use for my storage and things. And there we go, we got some pretty decent loot. Alright, so this looks like crap, right? Look at the difference between what I got earlier, or what I made from the leather hat, and what this stuff is. It's all terrible. One resistance, one, one, three, cold, that's it. But why do we want this? Now, we can decraft clothes into linen cloth. And again, I said linen cloth is very important, because you can use it in crafting leather armor, you can use it in crafting ice rags, you can use it in crafting bandages, right? All kinds of things. And if you don't want to use ice rags, if you're just like, oh, I'm, I'm a crazy man, I'm too good at this game, I don't need them, you can sell them. They sell decent. I think it's like four silver or something. I don't know. I can't remember. But it's pretty decent. All right, so again, jerky. There's some, just some food up here. Grab that. It's not overly important, but it's nice to have. So you come down here. This is kind of like your workshop area. Some kitchen and... Uh, stove, that type of thing. Okay, so there's going to be bread here. You cannot do anything with this. This is basically nothing. This is a scroll. So in this game, this is how you learn how to craft things. Rather than how I learned how to craft the leather stuff. Remember, I didn't have these. Well, you can manually craft stuff. Like, if I wanted to, again, craft an ice rag, I know that it's this and seaweed. However, if you read a scroll, it teaches you that. So now I know that. Now, why is it not in here? Well, because it's a food. Food needs to be cooked at a cooking pot. So if I go in here, I know how to cook this. Right? I didn't before. Now, if I take this jam, and then I go back in here, you'll see I have the bread and the, uh, the jam, and it makes the tartine. I didn't know that before, but I learned it from the thing. So... Just a heads up, you learn a lot of stuff from uh, scrolls, so make sure you pick them up and use them when you can. I ended up getting some decent materials from that island for that. Okay, so over here, you're going to have an improvised bedroll. you notice I don't have a bedroll in my inventory. You like, you want, you always want to have some kind of thing to sleep in. So, in this game, it's tents. You sleep in tents. Um, bedroll is like the basic version of a tent. Now, I'm going to grab this to sell, because remember, I did say you get multiple of these. Iron scrap, sell that too. Um, so, old lantern. Make sure you grab this, because if you don't have this, you won't be able to see in the cave we're going to go to next. Um, but, now you will notice that in the bottom right, the lantern skill has lit up. Meaning, I can now use that skill. Alright? Now, I'm going to show you this, because it's pretty awesome, and we're, and, and I'm not going to go any further than this, because that's, that's, that'll be another video. Alright, but. Now that I have this, I have the kick, which I can use. I don't have a shiv, so I can't use that, right? But I do have a lantern. Now, if I push that skill, boom. This is an awesome skill. Highly recommend you use it. As long as you have your lantern in your hand, you can throw it at an enemy, and it will burn them. Okay? It will also leave fire on the ground, and sometimes if they walk into it, they'll get set on fire. Now... Last thing I'm going to say for this video is there's a lot of things that you can do in terms of crafting and weaponry. Experiment. That's kind of what this game's made to be. You're supposed to experiment with stuff. Okay? So now I just made a shiv. Right? One iron, one leather. Or one linen cloth. That's 
Did I did I know I could do that? Yeah, I knew I could do that. But again, you wouldn't know if you didn't experiment. So just kind of mess around with the things you get. Like if I take this material right here and I try and craft it with a linen cloth. Oh, invalid combination. I didn't lose anything. It doesn't hurt me to experiment with my materials. So now, again, the shift's not too hard to get. So I do recommend you at least make one if you're going to go for a one-handed build. Now you can use a shiv and at the same time strike. So I shiv and then I strike. It's more for like combos. So if you wanted to play with that, you can get a shiv really early on. It's an easy way to do it. And lastly, if you want to, you know, store stuff in your chest, you can. I, again, it like if I say I want to use that later for something, I'll keep it right there. Okay. So just uh, just a little very brief introduction to the game i'll go over some uh some of the other areas in a different beginner's guide video uh, but thanks for watching if you want any more tips any more helpful tricks uh comment down below what you'd like to see what you didn't like about this video i'm always up for criticism so uh thanks for watching guys and i will catch you in the next video